Yo, 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 yo. What's going on there, YouTube? It's your boy, Notlax. And I'm back at it again doing another Dread Review. In today's video, I finally decided that I'll take a look at Ian Connor, self-proclaimed king of the youth. Stay tuned. Okay, so this review has been requested a bunch. And uh, me being of the older generation, I have no idea who this kid is. He's only 18, I'm 28. There's a big gap amongst the fashion trends there uh, and social media stuff that I look up. So Ian Connor is a 18-year-old uh, African-American who is famous off of Tumblr. And he proclaims himself as the king of the youth. And his backstory apparently is he he represents the people on Tumblr and they back him up and now he's just well known everywhere. Most currently known to be Wiz Khalifa's personal stylist, wardrobe stylist. And he does have locks as well. Looking here, he's rocking that old high top fade. Um, sorry, high top dreads. You've seen Jaden Smith rocking, but Ian's here are twisted rather than freeformed. I was watching some of his interviews just to kind of see who he was and what he's about. His locks do actually stand out pretty well. And I, I do believe now that his hair is not um, black anymore, but it's it's more dyed blonde. So I'm just gonna look up pictures of him before his locks at the moment. Like right here, it looks like he doesn't even have any locks yet. This guy's always taking selfies. In every interview I've watched so far, he's doing the selfie game like mad. And here you can see his dreads have been bleached. And they're pretty lo they're longer here as well. But his hair looks dirty though. That's what I noticed. I've seen him before in some Wiz Khalifa videos. Uh, and his hair is uh, looks a little bit ragged. Looking over at his Instagram page. Um, we can see here that his, oh, look, his hair is bleached blonde now. That's like brightly bleached blonde. A lot of people are dying their, black people are dying their dreads bleached blonde like this recently. I want to know what's up with that. How is it coming back in style all over again? So, oh yeah, looking at his, it blows my mind because like the, he's a fashion guy, but like his outfit is like, it's not anything <laughs> fashionable compared to ASAP Rocky over here, but he's with all of them. He's with all these people. He's worked his way up in the internet world pretty quick. It doesn't look like he's rocking the high top fade as much anymore. Maybe he, maybe he's letting him grow out. So he's doing fashion model. Pretty cool. Yeah, I don't really have much too much to say about his locks, uh, but besides. If I'm just debating if you guys like the bleach blonde look here. I mean his his ends are all blunted. Is this dying your hair bleaching like, like this? It really dries it out, it can damage it a whole lot. So you just gotta be careful. You gotta be careful doing that kind of stuff to your hair. Serious. Yeah, his dreads are pretty cool. So I don't have too much to say. I'm not, I'm not really feeling the greatest this morning. My voice is on his way out, I think. Um, 
Although, if you ever thought what Ian Connor thought about fake dreadlocks, he posted on Twitter, if you have fake dreadlocks, then you're a thought. And a thought is that hoe over there. So, basically, anyone wearing fake dreadlocks, come on, grow some real ones. You don't need that faux shit. Not at all. And there was like rumor speculating that this kid gets paid 30k a month by Wiz to do his wardrobe. Maybe that's a bit of a, a highball figure. Maybe that 30k is to buy clothing for him and he gets like a percentage of it. But good for him that he could work his way up like that uh, in this fashion biz. It's probably pretty hard to do. Mm, yeah. This video is going to be cut short right about now. Hopefully you guys liked it. Make sure you guys stay subscribed. And I'm going to I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to go rest my voice up a little bit. This is your happy one. Peace.